Yo, what's going on, Internet? Today, I really just want to sort of uh, talk a little bit about working with big brands. And so like the household name type of brands uh, when you're an artist or creative. And I really just want to hit on one really specific point, um, especially because nowadays brands are working a lot with artists. And that's because brands know that artists come with their own network, their own platforms, you know, we are our own sort of universe in a way, and brands want to tap into that. They don't want to do the regular traditional, you know, put ads on Facebook, put ads on, uh, you know, commercials, on TV, things like that. They want to just tap into a network that you have because in, in, lack of a better word, you know, you're an influencer in your own sort of community. And that's why brands want to work with you. And a lot of these big brands don't pay really well. You know, the, some of the biggest brands that you know that are household names, you know, they have sort of minute and small budgets when it comes to sort of valuing artists. A lot of times we're at the bottom or the last thing that they kind of think about whenever they're sort of putting together a, a project with artists. And, you know, knowing more of this information and understanding it, I think will help out the artist community whenever we try to navigate um, that space. And, you know, as more and more artists are sort of demanding um, sort of their value um, when it comes to working with these big brands, I think it's going to overall help the artist community sort of grow in the importance. So now we're not just the last thing thought about, we're thought more of, you know, on the same plane as a production team or a legal team, things like that when it comes to the project. Um, so we're not just the last. And, you know, many times one of the first things I always, always tell artists is when they're being approached with a contract or an ask is really just understand the scope of work and that you can push back on anything and everything that they throw in front of you. So understanding the scope of work is just really understanding uh, what work do you have to deliver to them? What work are you doing? What is the scope of everything that is entailed in this project? Not only that, where is your work going to be placed as well? Uh, a lot of these brands have multiple platforms and you really have to read through that contract with a fine tooth comb and understand, okay, if I'm doing a digital piece for, let's say a Nike, where are they going to put my work? Who owns the work now? Is it a partnership with me? Or is it that I'm being contracted out like a contractor and they own the work? And you know, where is this work going? Is it just gonna be on their website or can they use this for an ad? Or can they use this in perpetuity, meaning can they use it forever? Or is there an expiration date? Um, do I get my work back um, type of thing after that expiration date? Or can they use the work and can I use it for myself? A lot of times when I do work with uh, brands, I also uh, reserve the right to sell prints of that work so I can actually make, you know, uh, another sort of in revenue stream from that piece of work. Um, so you really have to understand what you're getting into uh, when it comes to sort of working with those big brands. A lot of times when they're sending you a contract, you can always sort of mark this, this, and this and say, I don't like that, you need to change it. Or this is what I want you to change it to. Today, because artists have their own network and platforms, a lot of brands will not only want you to do the work, but they want you to share it as well. And they sort of sometimes will put that in the contract that you have to share it. You have to do stories or you have to do a post on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, whatever. And that right there is sort of a whole nother um, sort of ask, a big ask uh, for, for artists. And that's something you really have to account for as well because that just is not just doing the work. They want you to get it out in your network and sort of share it so you can be the conduits for what they want to get out there. So you really have to, like I said, go through that contract or go through that ask with a fine tooth comb and really understand what they are asking. Um, because a lot of times when these brands come to you, they're coming to you um, as sort of the last piece of the puzzle that they need. And when they get to you, it's kind of like their budgets seem really low. And in reality, um, their budgets are 
their budgets may be low because of all the things that they had to pay for beforehand, but that shouldn't be your problem. It should be their sort of uh, money management problem in terms of figuring out how to get you your worth or your value. So I really, really wanted to say that in that if you don't like anything in an ask or a contract or something like that when it comes to working with big brands, you know, it's not negotiating if you're not willing to walk away. So you really have to be willing to walk away from anything and everything or else you're just sort of trying to negotiate for scraps and it's not even negotiating then. So really understand your value when it comes to um, working with brands and working with other entities and really, like I said, go through that thing with a fine tooth comb and understand exactly the scope of work that you're doing and where your work is going and how will it be used because that's super, super important. And if you don't like anything, you're always, 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 always um, uh, able to sort of push back and ask for anything. And you're able to ask for anything. So when they send you a contract, it's all in their favor. That's what it is, all in their favor. So you really have to fight for yourself and don't feel like you don't have any leverage uh, because your leverage is just walking away. And if they want cheaper work, they can go get cheaper work someplace else. And that's really what attitude you have to have whenever you're getting into that space and working with um, big brands like that. So I just wanted to say that today um, because I see, you know, like I said, brands everywhere working with creatives and artists. And I just wanna make sure that as an arts community that, you know, artists are, aren't being taken advantage of even though, you know, it is a doggy dog world when it comes to those big brands and businesses and the arts community really has to sort of look out for each other and make sure that we're not undercutting each other and, you know, we're sharing information and that, you know, we're getting our value when it comes to working with these billion dollar companies. So definitely take that and run with it. And hopefully I will see you next Tuesday. Peace.